Hi everybody, Tony here, visiting Amy's channel. Did a little shopping over the weekend, probably shouldn't have uh, cut so much stuff. But anyway, let's see what I've got. First of all is uh, Agents of Weapons X, Deadpool. You can see Amy back there behind the camera. Pretty good looking Deadpool. He's got a lot of nice weapons. Got a chimichanga in his hand, if you can see that. Again, sorry about all the glare. He's got an extra head in there, some hands. This is what the back side of the box looks like. This was on clearance for $49.97 and then an additional half off of that. So it would have got him for right around $25. Bucks. I'd actually looked at this one before and just kind of left it. So What was the original? Original price. I don't see it. Surely up there with the clearance. Uh, no figure, 12 inch, Legends, Deadpool, Weapon X. Yeah, I do not see it. Hmm. And there's no other sticker on there. So, anyway, that was from GameStop in Murphy, North Carolina. The next thing I've got, I visited the game outlet. You know what? I'm sorry, I just saw something over there that I forgot to show in that Dollar Tree mall. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Whoops. Next thing is uh, the game outlet that is in the uh, Asheville Outlet Mall. And I didn't know this. I talked to the guy down there. It says veteran owned. And I had uh, no idea he was a veteran. So that's awesome. Support your local veterans. So support your local veterans. Got a little something for Amy. Got a little... Loki. Amy loves Loki. Trying to find the camera. There it is, I think. <laughs> it's a bobblehead. I think these are called the minis. I'm not 100% sure on this. This is, this is Funko. And one thing I like about down there, a lot of these come in, they're in blind boxes or bags. So when people open them, if they get doubles, they will let them trade them in. Now, I don't know how exactly that works. I don't know if there's a charge to do it or whatever. I don't know if you can just trade it in and get another box. How? I didn't ask. But they have these for sale that are open, which is the same price as the boxed edition you would have got. But this way you know what you're getting. So they actually had three or four Lokis there. So that's for Amy. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I love Loki. Got a few things for myself here. I'm going to apologize for the glare right off. Got a. Yeah. Hold on. Michael Myers. Yeah, that's a little better. Bloody knife. I already have Jason, Freddy, Chucky. Um bunch of others for some reason I'm drawing a blank right now I did not have pinhead so I didn't have this one the reason there's so much glare is it is in a pop protector those are a buck a piece down there so this was uh, right around ten bucks Didn't go for this one, but saw it. One of my favorite characters. Uh, kind of grew up with these games. I bought you that at Christmas. The same one? Or is that a different one? I thought this was a different one. <laughs> uh, there are so many different editions, and I apologize. I did not think I had this edition. <laughs> so, anyway, I may have a duplicate. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. But... Got a Raiden. Again, not one I went for, 
but picked up a domino. Now, a note, that is the domino from the comics. Because the domino from the movies is played by, I don't remember what her name is. Great character in the movies, great character in the comics. Honestly, she is the first female comic book character that I've actually liked. I thought she was amazing in the movie. I mean, I don't like um, Gamora. I don't like um, Wonder Woman. But I love Domino. She was awesome. So, she, she, this one is in a set of four. There's Domino, Cable, Colossus, and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. So, so we've got Cable. Got cable in a different. Uh, actually, Amy has that cable. Yeah, she cable. picked that one up. So my pops are your pops. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to pop, or something like that. So anyway, there's that one, and the actual one I went after <laughs> did not go after the rest of these. The actual one I went after is uh, one of my favorites from back when I read comics years ago, Colossus. Don't remember him having quite this outfit on in a movie, but maybe yeah, I think he did when they went. Maybe when they went to the X Mansion. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, wanted him, and uh, one other little thing I probably shouldn't have got, but when I walked in and saw it, <laughs> Godzilla. There's a mystery one in the middle. I'm really debating on opening these or not. I'm probably going to open it. <laughs> but uh, Those are so cute. There's the regular Godzilla. The uh, probably Godzilla versus Destroya when he was burning up. I'm guessing that's what that one is. But you know what? I got these to display. We have a knife around here. Mm. Hang on, I've got a... No, I got There's one right here. Oh, it lifted up. No, no, I didn't. I got it. So, you know, I had wanted the... Uh, I'd wanted the one from the uh, Funko Mystery Minis Monster Series. I wanted to say it was two. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but... I'd wanted that one. It was a rare one in the set. So, I saw these, and I mean, it's a little different, but it's close enough. Always love Godzilla. I have every Godzilla movie that's uh, been released in the U.S. and a bunch that <laughs> was only released overseas so i have to watch them with subtitles you don't have that one though because you hated it which one godzilla 2000 i have godzilla 2000 wait not the one that came out in like the 90s that you complain about every time well i complain about a few of them but i still love them the one that came out in theaters in like 98 or so with orson welles and you said it was absolutely awful well i like orson welles don't get me wrong that Godzilla movie was made by taking the original Godzilla movie and splicing in a bunch of scenes with Orson Welles and... No, I don't think that's what we're talking about. You don't think that's the same one? You said he doesn't look like Godzilla. I can't remember which one like we're talking about. He looks like a dinosaur or something. Oh, the Sony. Yeah. As people refer to him as Zilla. Oh yeah, I hated that one. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you forgot. <laughs> well, I had managed to push it out of my mind. Thank you. But anyway, there's that little guy. Did you see him? I know it doesn't sound like that. I can't do it. So on the other side. No, that was more like Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. Join Tony as he butchers the noise that your favorite characters make. So here's the burning Godzilla from 
Godzilla versus Destroya. And as you can see, he's on fire. That lizard's on fire. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Nah, never mind. Sorry. Get a little carried away. Got them. So let's see. What's the mystery one in the middle? The way they have the box designed, you can't see. So let's. Oh, okay. And I just threw it across the room. Thanks, Amy. Alrighty, so I'm going to guess because it doesn't say anywhere on the box that I can see. So I'm going to guess this is when he went into full meltdown right before, well, spoiler, but maybe he's been out there for a really long time, right before he exploded. And this would be when he started the meltdown. Like I said, just a guess. So I've got the regular, the versus Destroyer, how he looked in most, and I know some people call it Destroyer, but I was thinking back to the way the uh, Japanese one looked. And I can't keep my hands on anything. And the one that, again, I'm guessing is when he went into full meltdown before he exploded. Does the mouse go? No, they don't. So, anyway, that was my little uh, haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, do you like uh, the main man uh, Godzilla there? Well, actually, that's my favorite one. I like the spines. Did you grow up watching the old ones from the 50s like we did? Yeah, those were the good ones when uh, this guy in a rubber suit. Hilarious guy. Sadly, I'm thinking the original uh, person from the suit passed away a few years ago. But uh, every video I ever saw him out of the suit, he acted just as silly. I absolutely loved when Godzilla wanted to fly, so he would basically curl himself up, breathe fire out, and go like that through the air. <laughs> Oh, anyway, who was that Godzilla movie that they had on Mystery Science Theater 3000? Uh, is that the one where they dig up the part of the tail of something? Or was that a different movie? I can't remember which one was in Mystery Science Theater 3000. Golly, you'd think I would. And they got the goobery guy who like runs off because uh, the tail falls out and it starts growing. And... For some reason... Hedra's coming to mind, but I don't think that's right. Yeah, it might have been Hedra. May have been, but I swear I'm not thinking that that's right for some reason. But anyway, as always, no giddy, I don't want to play right now. Here, take your toy. As always, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. As Amy says, smack the bell or whatever Amy does and... That way you know when she puts out another video. And I hope everybody has a great... That's not my stomach. That's Gideon, by the way. I'm not that hungry. Have a great day, everybody.